Hey everybody, this is Michael Pink from Smart PM Technologies and I'm coming at you today with some excellent news. Uh, I wanted to show you our new project workspace that we just rolled out. Uh, project workspace is an area where we get a lot of more depth and analytics than our program dashboard. You know, the program dashboards where you log in, this is what we're looking at right now. Uh, this is where we log in to see pretty much high level metrics, but you know, once you get those high level metrics, you wanna drill down and look at the different things. In this dashboard, you know, first and foremost, front and center, you get to see the various milestones that you may have decided to track in. You know, a schedule is a, a schedule with one file that has lots of different parts and pieces ultimately leading to an end date. But through that, there's also important parts and pieces to be analyzing, like different phases or maybe different trades. In this case, we see multiple phases and we've got metrics that are showing, you know, as compression to that for that phase or series of activities that delays, the critical path delay, number of changes, plan versus actual, overall health of the schedule that drives to that point in time. And the way in which we set that's very simple. You go click track activity and you get a little pop up here uh, and you can go find any and all milestones and or you know punch in activity ID names or whatnot and it'll, it'll you know filter down to the place that you want. And you'd hit, you'd select one, by say clicking this button here, you can actually go in and change the name, put something in that you want to put in, or just keep the name of the activity as a file. But when you would uh, select that, it would run the analysis. And then under it, you get these uh, high level metrics that are customizable. These are called cards. Uh, the cards can be moved around, they can be increased in size, they can be turned on or off uh, based on hitting this customization deal right here. So what I can do is decide, do I want to make this card a little bit smaller? Do I want to move this one down here? Do I want to move this one over and make it bigger? You know, you can select, do I want to turn one off or turn one on? If I, want, if I don't really mind looking at these critical index, or if I don't want to see those reports, I can, I can click right here, hit save, and all my little changes save, right? So I've got the layout that I want. Now I could always go back to the originals. If I just said, you know what, reset to the original and we're good to go. And if I wanted to click on say a different part of the project, all of those guys update immediately in conformance with what I was just looking at. And then the next question is how do we drill down, right? I see this delay over time or I see the changes. I can click right here and to see more. Uh, and what it's gonna do is it, it's gonna expand and give me a whole level more of detail for delay. If I wanna go back to my, uh, uh, dashboard, I can do that right over here. All of these things that you can go look at, like schedule quality, you can just go open that up here. Uh, if I could want to look at my changes, I can open it up here. Uh, I can collapse this. I can go back to my dashboard. I can also go access the changes through the chart. Again, brings me right to that same place. So very easy to navigate, very intuitive, a lot of depth, but really my favorite part about it all is the ability to get, you know, break that the project into parts and pieces and see those metrics related to those, those areas of those trades. Uh, other cool things that we do, we have that, we still have the modeling capabilities where you could be setting up conditions to do various things like update the schedule, put in TIAs, do some bulk change stuff, reject changes, revert changes. I, I also have that ability over here in our modeling tab over here where I can be testing calendars on certain activities to see you know what that means for the end date of a job or a series of activities leading to a milestone i again can do rebase lines and what that does is create the ability to throw my rebase line up look at those same metrics based on a new point in time so yeah all really cool stuff here uh, again we also have the ability to navigate into the gantt chart um, right here this is a high-rise building and um, when I get into the Gantt chart, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull up my schedule. It's a live scheduling program, live scheduling file that I can now ac access and broadcast to the various teams that I work with. But now if I want to go visually look at, you know, progress and performance via critical path and critical path delay, I can see that here. What I've done is rolled it up to the highest level and now I'm breaking it down level by level. And I can see this, historical critical path going through site work into structure, ultimately into exteriors and then down into my interior build out. I can continue opening that up, continue to look at, you know, where are my critical trades historically? Again, see my critical and near critical paths. So if, if there are any delays, I know exactly where they are. 
And I can also see the future critical path. And I can uh, you know, diagnose whether or not I think that's accurate. Uh, you know, in this case, it looks like the critical path is going through a given floor and then getting into some inspection work, I would imagine. But that's not usually the case. That's that's usually happens when you have missing crew logic going up a building. So things that I uh, will realize when I look at this. And, I, you know, the other thing that's cool is I can also open up, um, you know, those other schedules that I was looking at, wanting to see to those different phases by then just clicking here and saying, you know what, I'm not just going to look at the overall schedule. I want to see what's going on to phase two. You know, what was my historical critical path? What is my future critical path? You know, we have that delay table built in as well right here. So I can always go back and, you know, look at delay related to this particular schedule or this series of activities. So again, you know, we see all of this going, our residential floors, our remaining floors, it's going through 14 through 16. And then we've got these early occupancy floors. And ultimately I can see this amenity area build out is now becoming critical to get to that phase two and it ha happens to be in the uh, pool and amenity area. So we're able to cut and slice the schedules just like we always have, but really the, the best part about all this is it's so easy, so intuitive and so useful. Uh, and, and, it, and it's not, it's designed for more than just the scheduler now. You know, we've got PMs and we've got supers using our system. We've got executives using our system, project execs, leadership, COOs, CEOs, it gives this visibility across the board in terms that people understand. And that really creates a lot of good communication, whether you're at a contractor or you're at an owner. You know, the owner can be looking into these things. The contractor can be looking into these things. Everybody wants a good outcome. And it's, you know, it's been imperative to get this visibility across the board. Uh, other thing, you know, that's a residential building. I mean, we have the ability to do industrial projects as well. And if I pop this open, I've got another project we looked at where they were doing some wastewater treatment on a, on a river. Uh, and, and, and there was an upriver side and a downriver side, and then there's the overall side. So I'm able to look at both as if they were in a vacuum. Uh, and then I can look at things collectively as well. And again, you can see that my format here is the way that I formatted it before. Every user has their ability to customize and format this the way that they want. But I wanted to show this to everybody today because it's very exciting. It's been very well received by our customers as well as new customers, people that we're, we're signing up now. I mean, it's, a, it's such a breath of fresh air. And again, uh, if you're interested in learning more, happy to, uh, happy to talk about it. Feel free to reach out to my email, mpink at smartpmtech.com. That's M-P-I-N-K at smartpmtech.com. Thank you.